This is Radio Romania International. You are listening to another one-hour broadcast in English for listeners in Western Europe and Japan. We can also be heard on the internet at www.rri.ro channel 1. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter and other social media platforms. Our programs are also available on TuneIn and via satellite Eurosat 16A. On 11, 5, 12 megahertz, vertical polarization, azimuth 16 degrees east. Symbol rate 29,950 mega symbols per second, standard DVB-S2, modulation APSK, audio PID 510. We wish you good reception conditions. Hello, it's good you've chosen Radio Armenia International. I'm Vlad Park in the newsroom. Let's look at the top stories. The Romanian government has approved at the proposal of the National Committee for Emergency Situations the extension of the state of alert. Romania's President Klaus Johannes on Thursday signed a decree dismissing Finance Minister Alexander Nazare. And President Klaus Johannes is representing Romania at the Three States Initiative Summit. The Romanian government has approved at the proposal of the National Committee for Emergency Situations the extension of the state of alert across Romania for another 30 days, starting July 12. The prevention and control measures in force at the moment will continue to be applied with some changes. The most important is the extension from 90 to 180 days of the period of exemption from these measures those persons who have already had the infection. On the other hand, the head of the vaccination campaign, Valerio Gheorghiza, has drawn attention to the fact that, as of mid-August, the number of COVID-19 cases in Romania will increase due to the new Delta virus strain, and he has again called for the population to get vaccinated. Since the beginning of the vaccination campaign in Romania in December last year, Almost 2.8 million people have been vaccinated, to whom about 4.6 million with both doses. 30 new cases of infection and 3 deaths have been reported in the past 24 hours, and 57 patients are in intensive care. Dozens of new cases of infection with the Delta strain of the SARS-CoV-2 virus and one case of beta infection have been identified in Bulgaria, Romania's labor. In Japan, the government announced a state of emergency amidst the growing number of COVID-19 infections. As a result, the Tokyo Olympics, a competition that is set to begin in two weeks' time, will unfold without prompt attendance. The Delta strain of the novel coronavirus, first identified in India, continues to spread rapidly around the world. The Australian city of Sydney on Wednesday recorded the highest number of new cases this year. South Korea reported the highest rate since the onset of the pandemic, and a study published in London shows that the number of infections in England has increased four times since June until now. Spain saw an increase in the number of new cases, especially among young people. One percent of young people between 20 and 24 who have been infected should be hospitalized, the Spanish authorities have warned. Globally, more than 185 million cases of infection have been reported so far. At least 4 million people have died, according to worldometers.info. Those cases and deaths were recorded in the United States, India and Brazil. Romania's President Klaus Johannes on Thursday signed a decree dismissing Finance Minister Alexander Nazare. Under the same decree, Prime Minister Vladimir Kitsu will take over as Interim Finance Minister. Prime Minister could we explain that upon evaluating the activity of the Finance Ministry, he discovered delays of some important projects which are aimed at eliminating tax evasion and attracting European funds. Nazare is the second minister sat by the ruling Anale Uterepus Udemere Commission after former Health Minister Vlad Voikulescu. Economies of countries in Central and Eastern Europe will grow faster than those of countries in Western Europe over the next years. IMF Director Kristalina Georgieva said on Thursday on the sidelines of the Three Seas Initiative Summit hosted by Sofia, Bulgaria. 
CIMS officials said the combined GDP of the 12 free assigned member states could this year return to the level reported before the pandemic. The organization is a flexible, informal political platform at presidential level, bringing together the 12 new member states located between the Baltic Sea, the Adriatic Sea and the Black Sea. Romania is represented by President Klaus Johannes, who will emphasize the importance of implementing priority strategic interconnection projects with a focus on projects of high interest for Romania, namely Rail to Sea and Via Carpathia. From Bucharest's standpoint, these projects are essential for the initiative to really bring about long-term economic development and to make the economy of participating states more strategically resilient. We recall that Bucharest hosted the Three Seas Initiative Summit in September 2018. On the sidelines of Ukraine Reform Conference, organized in hybrid format in Vilnius, Foreign Minister Bogdan Aurescu said Romania continues to support the sovereignty and territorial integrity of this country, reiterating Bucharest's firm commitment to oppose the illegal annexation of Crimea by the Russian Federation. Bogdan Aurescu said Romania supports Ukraine's European track and its process of comprehensive and inclusive reforms based on the country's commitments under the association agreement signed with the European Union. Ukraine Reform Conference is an international annual event organized since 2017, bringing together officials from Ukraine and partner states, representatives of the EU, NATO and G7, of the business community and civil society. And that was the news. The European Commission has improved its forecast on the Romanian economy and saw a better than expected GDP growth in the first quarter of the year. I'm Ana Maria Popescu with learned this in a report written by Daniela Bodo. Romania will have the highest economic growth rate in the European Union this year, according to the summer forecast of the European Commission, which predicted the Romanian economy will grow by 7.4% this year and by 4.9% next year. The new forecast for 2021 is 2.3% higher than the spring estimates, because, according to the European institutions, the Romanian economy performed strongly in the first quarter. The confidence of consumers and business people has also remained high so far. Private consumption is expected to stay strong, but by the lifting of COVID restrictions, particularly in the fields hit severely by the pandemic, and by the increase in salaries in the first months of the year, the Commission said. Moreover, investments will remain strong in 2021-2022, supported by both the private and public sectors. Exports are set to improve in line with the ongoing recovery in Romania's main trading partners, but the contribution of net exports to growth is expected to remain negative over the forecast horizon, the Commission believes. Growth is projected to continue into 2022, although at a slower pace. Prime Minister Florin Kutu says these forecasts are the consequence of the private sector responding well to the measures implemented so far and having confidence that all the reforms announced by the government will be implemented. Meanwhile, Professor Mirka Porsha, PhD, explains what these figures actually mean for Romania in his opinion. The 7% growth is actually not growth, but recovery. In macroeconomic terms, there is a major difference between recovery and economic growth. What we are actually doing is recovering, that is, getting back to where we were. This is not necessarily to mean we will live better. Moreover, if we look at what's behind these figures, we see things are rather disquieting. The recovery at this record rate for the European Union is not healthy. Compared to other countries around us, this extremely high figure means that, in fact, Romania does not rely on a proper economic foundation, but on loans. At European Union level, the economy is expected to grow by 4.8% this year and 4.5% in 2022, after economic activity above expectations in the first quarter, 
and after the easing of COVID containment measures in the second quarter. And with this our newscast and for today, don't forget to also follow us online at rri.org and on Facebook. Hello, this is Daniel Bills to the microphone. Rana Modelina Beres and swimmer Robert Glitzer have been designated the flag bearers of Romania's team at the Olympics in Tokyo. The Romanian Olympic and Sports Committee has announced Modelina Beres, who is a bronze medalist at the Olympic Games in Rio 2016, world champion with Romania's eight and six times European champion. Glitzer is the first Romanian swimmer to win gold at the European Championships and the first athlete qualified for the Tokyo Olympics. The first Romanian flag bearer at the Olympic Games was Iosif Simpel in Melbourne, 1956. He used to be Olympic champion in the shooting contest of the Helsinki Olympics in 1952. An illness in his right eye prompted him to modify his gun to be able to use his left eye for shooting and went fifth in Melbourne, a remarkable performance under the given circumstances. However, the athlete with the largest number of participations as Romania's flag bearer was Kayakar Aurel Zernescu. He carried the flag for Romania three times in Tokyo, 1964, Mexico, four years later, and Munich, 1972. He was designated flag bearer after he had won two world titles in Yugoslavia in 1963. He compelled recognition in Tokyo as well with a bronze medal in the 500-meter individual race and with the Romanian four in the 1,000-meter event. In Munich 1972, he stepped onto the podium's second step with the Romanian floor in the 1,000 meter race. Elisabetta Lipa became the first woman athlete to wear the flag for Romania at the Olympic Games. She had this honor in Sydney in 2000 and Athens in 2004. Lipa obtained her first Olympic gold in Los Angeles in 1984 together with Mariura Popescu in the double skulls event. Four years later, she got bronze with the Romanian four and silver in the double skulls. She dominated the individual races for many years and eventually ripped the Olympic title in Barcelona in 1992. She later joined the famous Romanian age, which she managed to win another three gold medals in Atlanta in 1996, in Sydney 2000 and Athens 2004. Gymnasts from Romania have attained the largest number of multiple performances in international competitions. And the first gymnast to bear the Romanian flag in the Olympics was Catalina Ponor, triple Olympic champion in Athens 2004. Coming up next in today's broadcast, it's Little the Day. Listen to the fans, Mortage and the Facebook released on International Children's Day, the first of June, in Kaisal's Cape Town. 